Okay, Aquarius, welcome to your August 2019 Psychic Tarot reading with me, Stella Wilde. This is for Aquarius, August 2019, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aquarius, how are you doing? What's going on in your world? It is August 2019 already, can you believe it? We're going to be diving deep into your energy for August with my tarot cards. I will be following up with some clarification with my playing cards and we will get into what will be revealed for August 2019. You have a lot of planets piling up in the sign opposite you the first half of August, Aquarius. So there's what's called a stellium, which is a collection usually for more planets in a particular sign and there happen to be quite a few planets piling up in Leo, your seventh house if you have Aquarius rising. So there's going to be the first half of August, a lot of emphasis on other people, connecting with other people. And in particular, there could be a fresh start with some new partnership, new people. There could be, because with that new moon in Leo happening on July 31st, there could be some new commitment coming toward you with um, you know business partnership. It can also be romantic, because seventh house does rule partners in a romantic sense, but it can also be something business related. So there is a fresh new start that could be quite powerful and quite um, exciting for you in most of August. And then the energy shifts about halfway through the month, uh, around the 19th, 20th, into a lot of Virgo energy, which is your eighth house of resources, um, other people's resources, transformation, uh, sexuality, intimacy, healing, it's really, it's the sex, death, and taxes house, really. Um, so there will be a lot of fresh energy in that area as well. So you might want to go check out and read your uh, monthly horoscopes that I write, Aquarius. The link is in the description. I also film them and you know record them and have a little video for you on YouTube. So go check that out. But you have a very very interesting month ahead with energy there could be a new relationship manifesting with that new moon in leo happening and all of the the planets in your relationship house so let's see what the cards have to say i will be diving deeper into this energy over on vimeo this month the extended reading we'll look at what is happening here and also i will dive into relationships for singles, those in a happy couple, those in a challenging relationship situation. And also I will look at your money life, your career life, etc. And you have some very look at look at all these people coming into your life. I'll get to them in a second. But you um you know I'll dive into your money, your career life and other spiritual messages over on the extended reading on Vimeo. It's very reasonably priced. So check it out. The link is in the description. It's the price of a cup of coffee and you get, you know, an extra deep dive. And your month is going to be exciting. Look at all of this. Look at all of this. Oh, and let me just say, I do personal readings also. The link is in the description. I had somebody on the Scorpio video say, you should do readings. And I said, I do. I do readings. So the link is in the description. So check it out. Okay, Aquarius, look at this. Look at all these new people and new energies coming in. King of Cups, King of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. So, now normally, Aquarius, you would be represented by either the King of Swords or the Queen of Swords. Because I try to read the energy as gender, gender neutral as possible. Um, but I am going to look at this in terms of men just because I have a female energy here. Okay, so I'm just going to look at it this way. But like I said, I try to read it gender neutral. Well, you came out over here. I feel that this month, this month, this is you. You're going to be exhibiting a lot of Queen of Cups energy. So what that means to me is that with so much emphasis on your seventh house of partnerships and relationships, Aquarius, you're in the mood for love. <laughs> you're in the mood for love. 
This Queen of Cups, I mean, look at her. Doesn't she look like she's in the mood for love? She does. And of course, Queen of Cups energy is normally associated with um, Pisces, with Scorpio, and with Cancer. Now, it's possible, Aquarius, you could have your Venus in Pisces. That's, that's quite possible. So this reading would be especially applicable to you. Um, but this is an energy really of romance and poetry and dreaming and emotions and uh, really connecting on deep emotional, emotional levels. Like this to me also is really a card of sexual healing as well. This Queen of Cups, like she really gets that. Now, you remember that Marvin Gaye song, Sexual Healing? Okay, I didn't sing that very well, but... Yeah, so just take a look at her. She's dreaming of somebody. This is your energy. So which one are you dreaming about? That's like you're in the mood for love and you have options. You have options, Aquarius. Because look at this, we have two. We have a king of pentacles and look at this one, this king of cups. And I just want you to look at these two together because they go together. They're the same suit. All right, this is water, this is water. Look at how the artist did these cards and look at how he's looking at her. This like cracks me up. I mean, in a good way, but like he's like, ooh, like, <laughs> okay. So this one, the water, seems like it would be more of an ideal match for you. However, we have somebody else. We have an earth sign. We have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, very down to earth. You can see he's got coins in his hands. He thinks a lot about his business, about his money. He's very stable, um, practical, and you like that. You like that too. So who's it gonna be? I'm gonna have to pull some cards. Who's it gonna be? So there's two options here. Um, like I said, the natural one you're drawn to is the fellow water sign that's showing up. Like I said, I know you're an air sign Aquarius, but you're showing up here. Now, another possible way to read this is that these are all new people coming into your life. So you have to remember, this is a general tarot reading. So for some Aquarius, yes, it may apply that these could be two new potentials coming in for your love life. For other people, for other Aquarians, this could be three new significant people coming into your life to help you, possibly in business, because of the, the business emphasis we have here. You probably have a married couple that are coming in to support you. These could even be new clients that you get that end up being very instrumental in growing your business. That's another possibility. If they're not married, they're definitely in a relationship together. They're, or they could be brother and sister. That's like the same element, like coming from a same family like type thing. So that's another possibility. And then you have this earth sign energy, this very practical, grounded, down-to-earth business person who um, may want to go into business with you, may want to invest in your business, may give you some business advice. Um, so, so that's another possibility with this energy. All three are good because they're showing up upright. And as I said before in some of my other videos, some people don't read reversals. That's fine. That's, you know, whatever. But it has a different style. I read reversals because to me, if a card shows up upside down, it means something different. And there's a reason it's showing up that way. All of these are upright. So we know that they're trustworthy. We know they're coming with good intentions. So, so like I said, these could be all new people coming into your life, which isn't out of the question with all the activity happening in that seventh house of other people. Okay, so let's pull a few more cards and see what else we have, Aquarius. I love this for you. I love this. Whether it's romance or business, it's like you're getting a boost from the universe in terms of some real tangible support. People coming in. While I'm all, you know, I'm an Aries. I'm all for like doing as much as you can on your own, of course, because I'm independent. That's how I am. But the other thing is, you know, we do need people. We need people. We need people, no matter how independent you are, you need people, you need support, you need connections, you need the joy of friendship, the joy of connections. And, and that's what I feel is coming for you with this energy. It's really beautiful. 
So even if you're like me, Aquarius, if you're very independent, um, you're going to enjoy these new people that are coming into your life because they have good intentions. And I know in some of the readings we had, especially toward the end of last year, um, some of the readings were just, well, even, even recently, we've had some readings for you, Aquarius, where people were just not on your team. They were not on your side. They were quite evil and saying nasty, gossipy things and etc. So I think it's very nice that we have this energy coming in for you. So like I said, you know, it is a general reading. You can always book a reading with me and find out find out more about your personal situation okay look what we have here we have the temperance card such a beautiful card ace of swords and the fool upside down so if things had been slow in your world aquarius to meet new people whether in love or business or both there was a slowdown, this fool upside down. There was a sense that, am I ever going to have a chance to start over again? You've been wanting to start over. You've been wanting to start fresh with a new group of people, new associations, new friends, new lovers, whatever. Okay, like really having fresh energy around you and it hasn't been happening. Well, here it is. It's here. It's here. So whatever's been stagnant in your life, whatever was on like Groundhog Day repeat, the same old crap every day with people, the same old stories, the same old, you know, negativity, the same, you know, gossip, the same BS, the, you know, you get my point on almost like replay every day. That's going away. And what's coming in is you're cutting the cord. It's almost like, actually, I feel it's not you so much cutting the cord. I feel like it's the universe. I feel like this is this Ace of Swords is, is divinely timed with this beautiful sun around, this beautiful energy around it, which to me looks like the sun of Leo. You know, S-U-N, not S-O-N, S-U-N, the sunshine, because Leo is the sun, right? So this looks like the sword being brought by the universe, the sun, the Leo, like cutting the cord of all this drama from the past, all the bad associations, all the inability to move on and bringing you temperance is about a change in circumstance. It's being able to take something that that was, you know, just um, a little crystal and transform it into a diamond as an example not that this can be transformed into a diamond but you get my point so because what temperance does is it's an alchemy card it's a card of transformation so like I said where once nothing was happening now everything is happening and what is that everything for some of you it's going to be in the mood for love and you're gonna have options that's what's transforming. For others of you, a stagnant business situation is being, the cord is being cut from that by the universe and what's coming in is brand new energy and associations. So this is really great. Temperance changes one thing into another and it is because you had the patience, Aquarius. You didn't give up. You hung in there. You had the patience to know that a new dawn was going to come. A new day was going to come. And you just kept at it, did what you had to do, and you came out the other side into a world of new possibilities and things now changing for the better. So this is very nice. But like, like I said, I feel like this is divinely timed, divinely guided by the universe. The universe is making these old things finally pass away right now and i think it's because because we have this energy of this new moon in leo that is all about the other other people new associations coming in it's the right time you know to everything there is a season this is true timing is everything and the universe knows right now 
and it's bringing you because you're ready. That's the other thing. You're very ready. You're so ready for this emotional transformation that is happening for you, whether in love or business or both, right? You're ready. Look at this. I mean, really look at this energy, that expectant look in her eye. She's like, ooh, la, la. Mm hmm. Yes, she is. Ooh, la, la. So, all right, let's pull a couple of these and see what else we have. This is beautiful energy for you. So, yeah, we could have a Cancer Scorpio Pisces coming in. We could have an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm feeling that it is um, possibly a Taurus. And I'm feeling for you also possibly... Um, Pisces energy as well. So let's see what else we have. Oh gosh, I forgot to turn my phone off. I'm so sorry. My phone just made an obnoxious noise. <clears throat> All right. I had actually five fallout for you. I have five. Okay. This is very, very good. The troubles, eight of spades is troubles, are passing away. This is the death card. So the time of troubles is over. Passing away. It's done. The time of troubles is done. <laughs> and we have, um, we have the disappointment card, we have the home card, and we have inheritance card. Now, this may tie in with all the 8th house energy that's happening in Virgo for you guys toward the end of August. Because I said 8th house rules sex, death, and taxes. It also rules other people's money, and it does rule inheritances. So perhaps, and this may not be applicable to all Aquarians, there might be some sort of settlement that's supposed to come to you, maybe over a home situation. You're waiting to hear about you know some sort of inheritance and it could it could be there's something connected with it that disappoints you now obviously this is not going to apply to everybody okay um but yeah there's i'm not i'm trying to think there's any other way i can read this energy it's not really this is the home so some even maybe like maybe you were expecting that you would inherit the family home something like that and there's something disappointing about that. Maybe the house is in disrepair and it's gonna require a lot of money to fix it up. Maybe you have to, uh, and you don't have that, so you're gonna to have to sell the house to get money because you know you don't wanna do that, but you're, you may have to do that. So there's something, you know, there could be something connected with that, um, with that for you. But that will come more to light toward the end of August, if this is applicable, and um, there there will be that will also that if this is applicable that energy will also be happening in september because of that new moon in virgo in your eighth house at the end of um at the end of august on august 30th so there will be a fresh start in this matter it could just feel like initially you know it's a bummer okay but um, there's nothing negative here. It's just that something that the idea you had in your mind of how it was going to go and what you were expecting, there could be a disappointment connected with that. Okay. But, and now the cat is climbing the wall over there. You, did you hear that? <laughs> so, but what's very nice about this is that the troubles are passing away. So anything that has been troubling you particularly in regards to situations in your life seeming to drag on forever and not change, that is over, okay? Um, and there is fresh energy, fresh start, people coming to help you, people wanting to date you, people wanting to connect with you. Because we have to remember too that swords are about communication and the Ace of Swords here, yes, it's cutting away the past, but this is also a fresh start in communication. So there will be a lot of conversations with these people. A lot of one-on-one -on -one conversations, texting, emailing, lots of communication, forging these new connections. 
And I think what will happen also with these connections, there is a possibility my computer just decided what is going on mercury still retrograde okay I can't see anything okay you're back now my screensaver popped up <sighs> mercury retrograde anyway um, I have a feeling too that these associations are going to be established fairly quickly because with the temperance card I feel like there's this almost like soul DNA recognition with these people like from past lives like I feel like like you're gonna get that feeling from them and I'm saying that based on these two cards and that's why the connection the communication is gonna be so rapid and so um, intense perhaps shall we say as soon as you meet them okay so this is very nice energy so I'm gonna dive deeper into all of this particularly if if this is a, I mean, we're gonna look at all this for the love in my extended on Vimeo I'm gonna look at both of these people and for my singles and what is going on with this and then we will dive into this as well for um, business and your career and we will look at your spiritual messages and all sorts of other stuff over on Vimeo so check me out over there Aquarius you're in the mood for love who wouldn't be with all this energy it's very nice Aquarius have a great August leave me a comment let me know what's going on for you and I'll see you again soon take care Stella Wild signing out